So I've done pretty much everything there is to do in 221B Baker Street. We've talked to Toby the dog, who is our latest pet, who's helping us along the way in our investigations. And then we've got Watson, of course. But now we've got to head over to O'Farley's offices. So let's go ahead over there. Got to love this loading screen coming in from like a cell shading type of thing to a bit more realistic in-game graphics. Here we are at Farley's office. One cannot say that ethics play a very large role in his life. Look at the headlines pinned to the walls like trophies of bad taste. Perhaps we will finally begin to understand the reasons for his persistence in tarnishing your reputation. Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, at least we'll be able to get to the bottom of uh, this O'Farley chap who seems to be pretty much hell-bent on screwing us over. But, also some of you guys... Coffee. It's still hot. Some of you guys really didn't like the fact that I'm using a walkthrough, but I can't please everyone. Most, like a lot of you guys complain about uh, me being a noob, and then the, some of you guys complain about me uh, do, like going off a walkthrough. So I can't really please everyone. It's kind of hard. But uh, now we are looking at the coat. Let's see if we can, oh there we go. That's kind of a bit of bit uh, too obvious. Like it colours for us. It's a bit easier than all the other puzzles. A press card, Osmond Farley. It's his overcoat. Huh? Cigarettes. An ordinary, inexpensive brand. Well, that seems to be it because I've kicked this out of there. Now let's go ahead and read the little documents, the press card. The agents of the force are invited when possible to facilitate the mission of Osmond Farley, correspondent of the Globe Explorer, and allow him access to access information sites. In the case there is no force can't even read that because the signature the guy's obviously got a massive ego because I can't see anything now which way is the correct way let's go over this way this door okay. is locked is Farley afraid of being interrupted suddenly he's having a bit of private time I must go out for a while miss Jean I won't be hey, long. there is ask my appointments to wait and send this message as a matter of urgency mr. Osmond Farley I presume Messrs. Holmes and Watson what a surprise. What is there so surprising about being visited by the targets of your slander? I never slander. I inform. You will have to accept the consequences of these articles, Mr. Farley. Those words sound like a threat, Mr. Holmes. I never threaten. I merely warn. You don't frighten me, Mr. Holmes. I know all of your little secrets. And soon all of London will find out what really hides behind the facade of the impeccable detective. Thanks to my work, the whole world will discover the true Sherlock Holmes. Gentlemen, I don't wish you a good day. Osmond Farley. What a bore. What a bastard. Even to the point of refusing to shake our hands. Which means that we can avoid having to wash them. <laughs> Did you notice the crumbs on his jacket? He had just finished eating and his hands will be covered in grease, the same as his mouth. Slovenly habits. That's quite disgusting, Holmes. Do not be deceived, Watson. The workmanship in those tailor-made clothes indicate that he is a man who takes pride in his appearance. If Farley has left without brushing off his jacket or washing his hands, then it is because he spotted our approach and wished to avoid us at all costs. But why? We will find out by searching his office. The secretary will stop you. Please reassure me, Holmes. You don't intend upon knocking her out? Only if we exhaust every other viable alternative. Oh, here we go. We are exploring a rather dark side to Sherlock Holmes. Now, which way do we go? The secretary is occupied in sending a telegram via their electric telegraph. Farley asked that she should do so before he left. We must find a way of interrupting the transmission, which will oblige her to go to the telegraph office in Kensington. It will take her some time to get there. And if we add on the time it takes to send the telegram and then return here, we should have ample time to search the office without being disturbed. I suppose it's unnecessary to point out the illegality of this search. Uh, whatever. I'm afraid so. Whatever. We're, we don't care about laws. We're Sherlock Holmes after all. Now, what the hell is this? This is a coat hanger. This hanger has a large iron hook. Hmm, that could be handy for something. Let's see. Yep, we do have the coat hanger available. Now, is there anything else here for us? I cannot leave now. Okay, that's the way to leave. What's this? Okay. 
I can hear an electrical humming. The secretary is using the electricity supplied by this switch. Ah. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit. Okay, so, no doubt this is going to be simplicity itself again, but I am going to be looking at a walkthrough, um, because after all, this is going to take me way too long to actually try and accomplish seriously. So, I'm going to be doing that, although this, is, this doesn't seem to be too hard or too bad at all, to be honest. Pretty straightforward, all you guys have to do is copy me and you will be set. Do something like so. Okay, you know, because now these guys. Now, what do you do? You go like so. Okay, well, everything seems to be connected. Where else is there a connector? Like, these two things are connected. Oh, wait. This needs to be. There we go. Still not working. Okay. Better have another quick look at the walkthrough. Um, everything seems like it's pretty much perfect. Unless... Alright. There we are. It is simplicity itself. That's what we had to do. Oh, that's just too bad. Get out quickly, Watson. I'm going to hide here. <laughs> the way is clear. She looks like a bit of a pompous bitch. Where the hell did she go? You'd think she should be repairing this circuit, but okay. The way is clear for us to go investigate through our office. Let's go, Watson. Come on, Watson. Freedom of the press. All right, so that was a pretty good achievement. Now let's go ahead and look at all this stuff. A makeup case with a good brush. Mm. Obviously, she cares about her appearance as well. A page of this notebook has been torn out. We can only see the title in shorthand and today's date. It's a message that the secretary must send urgently. I'm going to recopy it. You can read shorthand? You never cease to amaze me. Were you a secretary before becoming the great Sher? Perhaps, perhaps. But no, a man must have his secrets. Hmm, you're gonna have a bit of a mystery to yourself. Messages from Farley's writing desk. Notes on the investigation into Sherlock Holmes to all his colleagues after the visit from... Well, that's it. It's a bit... It's a bit lackluster. Let's see what else we can pick up, though. Aha. Uh -huh. I must... I must look more attentively. I must... I must... Well, there's writing here. I'm not exactly sure how... I guess I gotta do this. I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. I must look. Okay, more well attentive. obviously that's not working, so let's go ahead into the walkthrough. Although I'm trying to stay away from it as much as possible, obviously, because some of you guys hate it, some of you guys want me to like succeed and um not bore you too much, but I can I can see how doing a walkthrough can be like cheating. It's pretty much exactly cheating. I'm just like reading off a thing, but um, I have to do it right now because I don't want to waste too much time doing these puzzles and uh, it's no fun just having no clue of what to do. But um, let's see what we've got to do. Notes on the investigation, blah, blah, blah. Check the notebook at top left. More work is needed to show the marks on the notebook. Take the brush from the pencil box. I, I must. I'm. I think I've already done that. Let's get out of here then. The ribbon is missing from this machine. Okay. Is that it? We can't really take any other letters. Nope. All right, let's go back to this. Did the, no, the ribbon's not helping us at all, is it? I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. Okay, okay. let's go put that back. I must, I must look more attentively. Okay, that's not helping us at, at all. I'm not exactly sure why. Ah, uh, I see what I got into. There's some trash. The secretary has just changed the typewriter ribbon. There are smudges of dark blue ink. Mm-hmm. So it's very uh, picky, this game. Like, you have to get everything in the correct order. I'm and now that's not really helping us at all. I've got to check the trash for the blue ribbon. Check the desk and see the typewriter doesn't have the ribbon. Yes. I've already done all that. 
Now, notebooks. Examine the torn notebook that is in Short's hands. Let's go ahead and read the message then. It's telling me to read the message. And that is the message, right? And then... Um, check the notebook at top left. More work is needed to show. Okay, so I think we've pretty much done everything there is to do here. We can also go in first person, which I've sort of neglected during this walkthrough, but I just like looking at homes and just the, the graphics like this. But anyway, we've got to search Farley's office, so... Which one's Farley's office? I think this will be Farley's office. Right over here. Oi, move over, Watson. Let's go ahead and take a look at all these stuff. This book has fallen down from the shelf. Hmm. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. My word! It's my stories about your investigations. A real investigative reporter must have read them, my dear Watson. You must have, you must have. It seems like everything is all done. So with this star here, no, it's not really point, pointing to anything. Is that all done? Yep, that's all done. My adventures. Okay, so it fell from his shelf. You got burnt paper. I will call you, call on you this morning. Destroy this letter. Receive it urgently. Your revelations regarding our man's true schemes are incredibly surprising, I guess. A Machia Machiavellianism of the sort. This paper only just escaped the flames. But who is this note about? And who wrote it? I will deal with it later. We shall, we shall. Now, there's nothing else over here. The windows. Oh, yep. The curtains. At least. Someone closed the curtain as though he wanted to maintain his privacy. Oh. Maybe him and his secretary were getting up to something naughty that they didn't want to see. This cabinet has a lot of drawers, each marked with a letter. There is surely a great deal of information in them. Hmm. But we can't open all of them. We must know what we are looking for. Now, let's go ahead and look at all the other stuff before we look at that. That seems like it has something like the telephone. It seems like it's going to be another puzzle. This armchair is out of place. Our man left his sandwich unfinished. So good. Oh, there's something here. Another ashtray. Jeez, this game loves its ashtrays. This ashtray is worth examining. It is, is it? Okay. This ash comes from an ordinary, well-known brand of cigarettes. It is still warm. This cigar is of a fine quality. It must be very expensive and difficult to obtain. And it is not even finished. What a waste. Well, why do you take it, Watson? You seem rather keen. Oh, no. Cigarettes. This ashtray is worth examining. The cigar end is still hot. Farley was not alone when we arrived at his secretary's office. You are thinking of the owner of the cigar. Yes, the reporter smokes ordinary cigarettes. Can you smell the subtle scent of gingerbread? That is the characteristic odor of a Habano Clarissimo. Our mysterious visitor is a rich man, Watson. This category of Havanas is exorbitant, and I cannot imagine a cigar lover crushing out such a marvelous smoke before finishing it. Since we saw no one leaving the building, that must point to a secret exit somewhere. How are we going to find it? by retracing Farley's steps from the moment before we arrived. Look, this room is teeming with clues. Well, what now? What do you want now? Uh, so... What do I choose here? With clues or something? Recreate Farley's sequence of actions just before the arrival of Sherlock Holmes. Oh god, and well this will not. Um, so... This is happening a lot earlier than I thought it would, but what I think is happen happens, right, is this is oh we haven't checked that. Let's go quit that. Okay, so that's a whole nother deduction. We still have a lot more stuff to look at though. Like the bulletin board and also the phone. A bunch of keys. A telephone. A technological marvel. A number was written next to it quite recently. A fine, educated hand. Holmes, this number seems very familiar. Yes, but let us dial it to be sure. Scotland's yard number, isn't it? Miss, get me 1313, please. It is Scotland Yard, of course. I'm beginning to understand. 
Lucky you. Seems like there's a rat in the ranks of Scotland Yard, which is no good for Sherlock, of course. Judging from all the notes on the board, our reporter is an assiduous and organized worker. Hmm. Okay, so there's a photo of him. I'm not really too interested in a that. A photograph of Prince Woodville. Farley is evidently also interested in this affair. Note from Farley. You guys can read that. A horrible story. And rather a strange one. And we also have a newspaper article. Okay. Here's what is strange. An attack of collective insanity. So now I guess what they want us to do is go back to the secretary's office. Oh hello, this is a clue as well. The key is still in the lock. Okay, so now it's telling me to do this. What the hell is that? I haven't seen this. Here is Farley's secretary's telegram. Nothing special here. Okay, nothing special. Not important then. So let's go back over here. To the notebook on the top left, use the magnifying lens on notebook to check the marks again. I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. Okay, but we need the ashes from the ashtray on the top part. I understand oh. what you want to do. It's an old It is trick. indeed, it is indeed. Uh-huh. Now, Holmes, follow up. I can see what has been written. Please write it down. Very well, Holmes. Proofs of guiltness or something. No. Followed Holmes, prepare elements bio D, well, forward slash DF. Not exactly sure what that means, but okay. Is that it? I think that's it. That we've pretty much done everything there is. Okay, dokes. So what now? Okay, so, all oh, right, we gotta go to the deduction board though, don't we? So, deduction board, deduction journalists. All right, so now we've pretty much done everything. No? Oh, there's still another couple of things I need to do. Oh, there's a file cabinet. Watson, why do you annoy me so much? There we go. I wonder which drawer the secretary was interested in. Hmm, I wonder so too. I reckon D, E, F. The DF drawer, of course. The one in the message that we deciphered from the secretary's desk blotter. There we go, I already knew that. Closed. I knew that. So, let's open that. The DF Why can't you drawer, open it? Of course. The one in the message that we deciphered from the secretary's desk blotter. Closed. Oh, it's closed, alright. So, how do I open it? To find the correct card in the drawer, oh, how do I open it then? With a bunch of keys from the small table. There's a small table somewhere, is there? I can't see no small table. That small table over here? No. Nope. nope, definitely not. Unless there's a small table over here. No. Hmm. That's where the phone is, so no. Wait. Ah, oh, there we go. We have keys. Okay. The DF drawer. Yeah, okay. There are a lot of cards. How to find the right one? Well. Um, hmm. How do we find the one right one? Read the index card. To find the correct card in the drawer, look for the one that has the blue ink from the secretary's typewriter. Aha! Uh -huh. That makes sense then. These blue stains come from an old typewriter ribbon. This card has been removed recently. This card has got grease marks on it. The reporter made them. Apparently, he's making inquiries about Prince Woodville, too. But where do you come into all this? Look, if we pull the curtain a little, we can see out into the street. Hmm. So now do we go to our deduction board? I think we do. 
abduction journalist. Alrighty, so now what we have to deduce is there's one, two, I only have five places. There should be six. Oh, right, the door as well. Okay, so there's six places that we have over here. And we need to select um, the, the places where the journalist went, the sequence of actions, right? So, firstly, is the file cabinet. And what do we choose for that? The journalist looked at a card. Hmm? Oh, a card in the cupboard. Select one. The journalist looked out the window and saw Holmes. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So, the armchair is select two and then they went to the door and that's select three the ashtray is select four then the book is five and that is six beautiful Farley consulted a card while he ate, which was given to him by his secretary just before she changed the ribbon on her typewriter. The reporter's greasy fingerprints are all over the card. When he went to file it away, he glanced automatically out of the window and saw us in the street. He closed the filing cabinet and rushed to lock his office door. In his haste, he pushed his chair aside, but didn't think to return it to its place. Precisely. He then hurried to tell his visitor of our arrival and showed him the way out. He then threw a piece of paper into the fireplace. But we still don't know how the cigar-smoking visitor departed. The answer lies in the direction the reporter took Watson. At a certain moment, he would have been in a place where he had no logical reason to be. Look at our deduction board, and then let us go to the place where the reporter should not be. Mm-hmm. My, what do you want me to do in, back in the deduction board? I think I've pretty much done everything. Now what I want to do... Um, deduction journalist. Click on the place that has no explanation for Farley to be in. Which is what? Select the book on the floor. Five. Perfect. Ha. Huh. So now what? Click on the bookshelf. Where are the book hole? Yes, Watson. In his haste, Farley dropped this book, taking it from the shelf. Let's search this place. Okay, so have we done that now? See close up of the panel. Note the panel has three sets of numbers and letters. This book has fallen. Obviously, it's my book. Hmm. There's a control box built into the filing cabinet. This box... We don't okay. know the combination, Holmes. The answer is perhaps within the weird. question, my dear fellow. I thought it would have worked like the first time, but... Um, Jesus, is one weird type of puzzle. Got no idea how it works, but... What we need to do is see close up. Etched on the panel is 6+. plus. Do the sequence of the numbers and letters counting 6 ahead. Aha, so it's going to be like 10... So the first number thing is gonna yes. Or something like that, maybe. No no, actually what it should be. Aha, uh -huh, I say what it will be. So this is going to be what's A B C D. Then you got E F G H I J. So this should be J. We said E F G H I J. Okay, then this is gonna be sixteen. And this should be H I J K L M N O P. So this should be P. Okay. There we go. There we are. It is simplicity. It is itself. indeed. It is indeed. Let us go and look at this secret exit, Watson. So where exactly we're we looking at? Oh God, I should be looking more at this computer screen, not my monitor, to get the hints and walkthroughs. Hints. Um. 
Where are we off to now? The secret door opens. Go to the door and look around. Where is the secret door? Oh god, I know a silly doofus. Oh, there it is. Didn't take too long. What's this? Chance has smiled upon us, Watson. This hat was almost certainly abandoned by our mysterious visitor. Imagine the scene. In his hurry, the cigar man drops his top hat. The door closes. The hat is caught beneath it. Fearing above all that he should be discovered, he does not attempt to retrieve it, instead preferring to flee. Who would take such action to avoid meeting us? I cannot tell as yet, but it is certain that he carries the advantage of knowing us. We must discover his identity in order to redress the balance, and this hat will help us. Let us return to Baker Street. Yes, but before we do that, we'll have to end this episode now. We'll be back at Baker Street, 221B Baker Street, that is, with the next episode. And we'll go ahead with the storyline. We're going really well. I reckon we'll finish this by, say, late Wednesday, early Thursday or so, Australian time. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series, even though it's not going too well. But that's what I kind of expect with the series like this. And uh, I'm not really spamming. Well, I am spamming you guys with lots of videos, pretty much. So... Obviously, they don't all go through your sub box unless you've pinned me into your sub box thingamajig. But we'll be back with another episode.